Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. The first mass outbreak event in Scarlet and Violet has just went live, so we're going to cover all of the details in today's video. So now alongside terror raid events that we do have in Scarlet and Violet, Pokemon are now introducing mass outbreak events and we've got our first one happening in game over this coming weekend. We take a look at the details, thanks to Cerebi as always for the information. The event itself is running from September the 29th until October the 1st. It's a very short time period for this event running. I'm assuming if you don't go online after the 1st of October, you'll keep this event in your game until the next time you go online and your game updates with Bean Online and then it'll disappear. So if you want to hunt for this Pokemon in the mass outbreaks, don't go online until you've got the Pokemon that you're after. This is specifically for Clefairy in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and it will appear in both Paldea and Kitakami. So nice to know, even if you haven't got the DLC, you'll be able to get it in the base games. Shiny odds are not increased for this mass outbreak. So standard mass outbreak shiny odds, we'll get into those in a moment. And it will have the added bonus of having an increased chance to have the upbeat mark this is specific to this special mass outbreak event. And you'll have an increased 5% chance to get the upbeat mark, which I believe is about a 1 in 20 chance of getting the Clefairy with this upbeat mark. The natures are random and the scale, so the size of them is going to be standard as normal per mass outbreak. But this is the event overall. There isn't really much other details to look at. Let's hop over in the game and see what it's all about. So I'm assuming that we just go down to Poker Portal, make sure we are connected to the internet, and we even get an update online about it as well. Enjoy a moon viewing party with lots of Clefairy. The full moon calls to Clefairy causing them to gather on mass until Sunday the 1st of October at 2359 UTC. Mass outbreaks of Clefairy will be appearing through the Kitakami and Paldea region. You normally can't find Clefairy in Paldea region but during this event you may find mass outbreaks of Clefairy there. Clefairy encountered in these special mass outbreaks are also more likely to have the upbeat mark. They must be high in spirits from basking in the moonlight. Event runs from the 29th to the 21st featured Clefairy Kitakami and Paldea are the locations and mass outbreaks we know what they're about we'll get into them in a moment and then just a bit more information about the event. So I'm guessing if we come down to mystery gifts like we do with our terror raid events check poker portal news and we'll get the update and we should if we go into our map. This is definitely one of the mass outbreak events you can identify them really easily by the kind of golden aura that they've got around them when sparkling aura to indicate that they are a mass outbreak event. Uh, as opposed to a normal mass outbreak, it's got the kind of red glowing symbols behind it. Like this Swaddle down here. Wow, we've got quite a lot. So you're going to get multiple of these mass outbreaks appearing in one area. This is Kitakami, of course. And even if you're in the base games, you will get this mass outbreak event appearing in Paldea as well. So yeah, we're going to get these appearing all through both regions. And this is pretty cool. I like it a lot. So with the mass outbreak events, you're going to have the chance, obviously the shiny chances in the mass outbreak are pretty pretty standard but you will be able to have increased chances of getting a shiny by just doing the mass outbreak anyway if you knock out 60 pokemon you've got a level 3 sandwich set up for fairy type pokemon because it'll be fairy type for the clefairy and you have the shiny charm you're going to have odds of 1 in 512 of a shiny appearing in your game from the mass outbreak and then with that on top you're going to have a five percent increased chance of it having the upbeat mark so i'm guessing getting your shiny with the upbeat mark is going to be a lot easier than it would be in normal situations throughout this event so here we are here is the outbreak itself so i guess what we'll do is we'll knock 60 out we'll try and get the shiny in the game you don't need to necessarily knock these out if you don't want to just knock them out if you want the chances of getting a regular clefairy uh, non-shiny with that upbeat mark then you can catch your way to 60 to increase the shiny chances as well it's obviously going to take a little bit longer doing that though but it, you will have a good chance in those 60 pokemon of getting the upbeat mark on one of the regular clefairies while you're doing this process as well so once you've knocked that 60th out generally what you want to do is just drop a save so if anything goes wrong with the outbreak if it disappears or anything at least you can boot back into the game and get to this point where you've knocked out 60 of them then we want to set up a sparkling level 3 sandwich to so set yourself up a picnic it'll despawn everything in the area it's probably worthwhile just checking the shiny isn't there already before you set your picnic up 
So for this recipe, we are going to be setting up the Sparkling Power Level 3 for Fairy type Pokemon. One tomato, two potato salad, a rice, a potato salad, and a noodles. And then we want any two Herba Mysticus. Now this is going to be a little bit tricky putting together. And there we go. Sparkling Power Level 3 title and catching power. So no Humongo power, but the, the main thing is that we are getting no encounter power with this one in Kitakami. We don't want any more Clefairies appearing to disrupt our outbreak than normal. So that's why I've not went with the encounter power here, which we don't really necessarily need for the outbreak anyways. So from this point on, we've got 30 minutes to take advantage of the sparkling power. Obviously, if we don't get it in that time, we can then reset our game and then try again. And you can use the picnic method to get more shinies. Uh, you can knock more out or you can just walk around and catch more of the outbreak uh, to to check the shiny the probably the best way to do it is check everything on the field it's spawned in see that the shiny's not there the fairy going to be an easy shiny to spot it has green bits on its ears rather than the, the darker brown bits that the normal form has no shinies here just set your picnic up it'll despawn everything on the field and then you can take your picnic down and then check again rinse and repeat the whole the whole process until you do find that shiny and hopefully when you do find the shiny when it does spawn in it will have that upbeat mark okay so we finally got the shiny appearing you can drop a save if you want if anything goes wrong with it if you want to catch it in a special pokeball but let's hope that this one has that upbeat mark we'll catch it and see if this one doesn't have a mark so we can try one more time and we got we got 15 minutes left on our sandwich so we can we can try and get another one so i decided to do another outbreak we've got another shiny here so i guess another chance at getting this upbeat mark that we haven't had up to now. Here's our second shiny of the video. And has it got a mark? It has not. So that's two shinies we got without a mark. Okay, third time lucky. Let's see. We've got our third shiny. Is this one going to be the one that has the mark? Or at least one mark. No more premier balls. We'll go with a luxury ball. See how we can get on. There we go. Okay. Has it got the mark though? This is the third shiny. It's two outbreaks. About... 70 plus Clefairy's caught, not upbeat mark, third shiny, third time's a charm they say, so here it is, the third shiny, it has a mark, it has a mark, is it going to be the upbeat mark, come on please, please, ah it's the sleepy mark, sleepy time mark, okay well I'll take it, I'll take it, this is the second outbreak that I had going on, I'm going to call it a day now because our second sandwich power has run out, we've actually caught three shinies out of two outbreaks, um, only one of them has a mark. The mark that we got on the shiny is not the upbeat mark. And then on top of that, we've caught 75 Clefairy in total. And we have had some marks, but not upbeat mark in the 75 that we caught. So we've not been that lucky with any of the, the outbreaks so far. Uh, we've got the sociable mark, which is quite a common one. We've got two of those. We've got the cloudy mark, which was nice. The peckish mark. Uh, another sociable, another sociable, another sociable. So we got five sociable marks and then we got the sleepy mark on our shiny. So not a beat mark though, which is kind of strange because you think out of all the marks that we've got, we're going to be getting, we should be getting the upbeat mark because it has got that increased chance of getting. But I guess that is why we've got a gazillion mass outbreaks going on at the minute for this mass outbreak event. I'm going to call it there. If you are hunting for the shiny this weekend, good luck. I hope you manage to get it very quickly in your games. Uh, but it's a nice one to kick us off with. Unfortunately, out of everything that I've caught this morning, I haven't been able to. I think I probably will try and get it with the upbeat marker shiny over the weekend. We'll see how that hunt goes when I get round to doing it. But I'm going to have to stock up on some Herba Mystica first because I'm running pretty low. But like I say, that is everything for this event. Good luck. You've got about a 1 in 20 chance you should do of getting the upbeat mark on just a normal Clefairy. Let me know in the comment section if you will be taking part in the event over the weekend and if you are lucky enough to get that shiny with the upbeat mark as well. I would love to hear and good luck to all of you trying to get it. Just getting the upbeat mark seems pretty tough on its own. So if you do grab it, good job. And uh, I look forward to covering the next mass outbreak event when it does go live because I think these are going to be a thing going forward. Very excited about them. A nice addition to the game. Love to know what you think as well, but we'll call it there. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day. Until next time, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.